Once there was a man who'd grown up in poverty and abuse. During his struggles as a child, he decided to escape the hell he'd known by becoming a powerful businessman one day. In fact, at the age of just 14, he started his own cattle company. He then later purchased this 1904 Victorian mansion and started a family. Despite his success, his life was filled with unresolved pain he carried from his childhood. And as a result, he took it out on his family. Like him, they too became victims of emotional and physical abuse from a generational curse that was never dealt with. After years of living in fear of her husband, his wife eventually found out he had been having an affair. That's when something finally snapped inside of her and she decided to take back the life she felt had been robbed from her and her children. Like him, she was also very clever. Because he struggled to read and do accounting for the business, she had been handling the paperwork for all the finances throughout their entire marriage. And because she was no stranger to holding secrets, she decided not to confront him about the affair. And instead, she played the slow game, accounting the money, forging his name on specific tax documents, and setting him up to nail him in court with all the evidence and documentation necessary to take everything he had. Once she was finally ready, she gathered the children, escaped to a different state, and filed for divorce. And just as planned, the divorce settlement ruled in her favor. And as for the house, she got that too. But it didn't stop there. She knew the biggest stab was to make him watch the home he'd worked so hard for fall to natural decay. This isn't only a home that's wasted away in the woods. This home is a byproduct of unresolved pain and a generational curse that ultimately destroyed a marriage and a tale of how sometimes in life, you truly do get what you give. So let's take a look inside this old mansion and see what's left behind. This isn't obvious or anything. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. It's one way to do it, I guess. So, looks like it's just like a little hop and a skip down this little drive. A quick little walk through the woods. And we're already at the house. Man, it's so fairy tale like walking up to this house with this driveway all overgrown. <laughs> Very magical looking. That is pretty. Yeah, man, this is, looks so majestic out here in the woods like this. I like how they chose like the yellow against the white like that. It's really cool color schemes. Yeah, we can definitely get inside from behind. Open from the back. Look at the details on this. No, the wooden details is amazing. But man, I really like what they've done with this yellow right here. It's the car still left behind. An old sports car. Black leather interior. Here's the, uh, the emblem, whatever that stands for. Yeah, if you guys know what kind of car this is, let me know in the comments below. Very curious. The house is definitely collapsing in. Around back. It's completely collapsed in. How are we gonna get in? Well, there's no easy way of doing it. You just gotta kinda just do it. Dude, I don't even trust going inside of it, to be honest. Look how much the floor is collapsed in. It's just a dark hole where this floor is collapsed. Oh man, yeah, that's the staircase. Yep, and here's the staircase. 
which used to be a spiral staircase, but it's completely collapsed. Man, we got here too late. Definitely. Man, look at all this woodwork on the stairway. Yeah, so this right here, I believe, is a drop underneath this floorboard here. Then I can just do that. What do you think I should do? I think try the same thing. Nice. Teamwork makes the dream work. Starboard's still set up. All this old leather furniture. A PlayStation remote. What makes you think they're a cat lover? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone maybe made a stash here at one point to take with them, and they didn't take it. Wish we would have gotten here like 10 years ago. Look at the fireplace, all this detail. This is an old iron fireplace too. Well, maybe this isn't iron, maybe this is steel. It's amazing regardless. So the kitchen, just all collapsed in like that. Here's some ASMR for you guys. Oh yeah. Oh, it is on now. Here we go. Dart board. See what I got. Not bad. All right. How we do? Oh, I only a three. Look at that. <laughs> oh, no. Twenty that time. Far up. The paint chipping. <laughs> it just falls <laughs> off. I mean, we are standing pretty far back too. I mean, I imagine, you know, regulation probably around here. This is for the money. Oh. Uh, nice clothes, Michael Jordan. <laughs> the board's up there, Carter. The board's up there. <laughs> yeah. All right, just quick shot. That's awful. <laughs> All the plasters come down off the walls. The brick underneath is exposed. There's still signs of like human life here at one point. But as you can see, this place is just coming in on itself. It looks more like a war zone than it does a dwelling. Yeah, this is about as far as I'm willing to go. Very unsafe. This is just kind of all part of exploring, really. You win some, you lose some. I think if we had gotten here about 10 years ago, this place would look magnificent, but looks like we're too little, too late for this one. We made it out. We made it. Looks like we're emerging from a war zone. And that is why exploring abandoned buildings can be very dangerous. It's nice though sometimes to find a place like this and it's like a, a nice healthy reminder of how dangerous this stuff can be. Mm -hmm. It kind of keeps you humbled. Keeps you on your toes too. Yeah, it definitely keeps you on your toes. Not every place is gonna be spectacular time capsule. It keeps you thinking about how the houses were constructed, you know, walking on the beams, walking on the edges of the, of the floor rather than out in the center, kind of hugging the walls. 
thinking about where structurally it's gonna be the most supported. So many of our explorations are places like this. I think what you guys see, you get to see the best of the best because that's what we decided to post. But really, I'd say a solid 75% of our explorations are things like this, you know. I'm making this video because I really wanna show you guys you know, we're, we're not always stumbling upon absolute time capsules. A lot of times it's old rundown houses like this, which really are, are beautiful in their own right. And that's a wrap for this exploration. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. And until next time, stay off the beaten path. I'll see you guys later.